Hello everyone, it's been quite a while since I have uploaded uh, my last video, it's about uh, a bit more than four years ago. The reason is uh, because uh, during that time uh, when I started I had to finish uh, keeping these tarantulas. Long story short, I had to sell all of my tarantulas but I kept all the equipments of it because I was hoping to get uh, a new start, a fresh start, which is just happening right now. About a year ago, year and a half ago, I received my first tarantula from my wife. It was a Terfosa Sturmy uh, male, but uh, we are going to cover him later. So uh, basically, during these uh, one and a half years I tried to get as many Terephosas as I could, but the majority of my collection contains the Terephosa Sturmy species and uh, only one Terephosa Blondie what I could get, uh, but uh, as it stands at this moment I'm going to receive my second Blondie in about a month time, but nevertheless the Terephosa Sturmy also is a Terephosa, as uh, my channel's title say, it's a Terephosa breed, Terephosa project, Terephosa breeding project. So I'm going to uh, start the breeding project uh, with the Terephosa Sturmy, and uh, later uh, I'm going to uh, carry on with the Terephosa Blondie as well. So what uh, you are seeing now is uh, my biggest uh, female Terephosa. Stormy. Uh, I received her as an adult uh, about two months ago. She's been uh, uh, she's been mated once, uh, but uh, it wasn't a successful uh, mating because she just molted. But I'm not worrying too much because my female because my male Terphosa Stormy he's not adult yet. He's actually sub adult, so uh, we need he needs one more molt. To reach maturity and then I can start to introduce him to this beautiful big lady. Actually I, you could just see that I poked her, I tried to look her out from, from her burrow just to show her body size. I, I couldn't measure her but I would say she's uh, her leg span is a good about a good 20-22 uh, centimeters and her body length about a good uh, 10 centimeters if I have to guess. Uh, she's quite skittish. I wouldn't say she's aggressive but uh, she really really likes to flick her hairs which is a pain in the ass because uh, my skin is just hates these hairs and, and rushes uh, uh, comes out uh, on my skin and itching and painful so whenever I try to do something in her enclosure every time I wear uh, these disposable gloves and so far it's good uh, I can I can handle it uh, and I can uh, take care of uh, its enclosures uh, wearing these uh, gloves okay so that's uh, that's for now from Charlotte actually that's her name the next uh, T is uh, Terephosa Sturmy it's a uh, female She's about a, she's about five six molds and uh, her name is Chauncey. She's also quite skittish. Uh, ba actually, what I have to say is that all of my Terephosa Sturmies are skittish. They are not aggressive, but they are skittish and they really like this hair flicking, which is uh, really really annoying. Considering the fact that my skin just really hates these irritating hairs, but. Uh, Anyway, I have to live with it because I really love this species and uh, I'm going to keep them in the future as well. So the second or the third T is actually that's a Terphosa Blondie. She is a young female, a confirmed female and her name is Vivian. She is still quite shy every time when I try to open the enclosure she just runs back uh, into her burrow and the same happens when I try to feed her she runs back it but then of course uh, she catch uh, she catches the the cockroach so that's uh, no problem uh, with her appetite at all 
Moving to the next uh, tarantula is a Terephosa stormy, a confirmed male. He's from the same exec as uh, the previous stormy, Johnsy. I bought uh, five of them, but unfortunately, uh, two of them died because of an uh, unknown reason. I really don't know uh, why they died or how they died, but, but uh, unfortunately, they died. So, anyway. He's a confirmed male, but uh, I'm not going to uh, pair him with uh, John C. Because I believe uh, tar tarantulas from the same X sex uh, shouldn't be paired because of the bloodlines, and there are plenty of uh, other Terephosa sturpy males and females of the market, so we shouldn't mix them to get a really uh, strong and good uh, bloodline of these Terephosa. So, and there we go. Here is a Terephosa Sturmy sub adult male, Seapie, who I got her from my wife and, and who is going to be the boyfriend of my adult female, Charlotte. I really, really hope that they are going to get a viable exec because, as you can see, he is really strong, really, really healthy. Of course, I, I, I I do take a good care of all of my tarantulas, but because he was the first one when I restarted this hobby, I think I just could extra extra care how I keep him, how I feed him, how I set up his enclosure. So, yes, uh, he is uh, one of my favorite, but really because of the restart and, and because uh, with him I got back into the hobby after four years. Let's go and check the last Terephosa, who is a Terephosa Sturmy. He's or she is also from the same exec as two previous ones. I mean not C by I mean John C and uh, uh, TB T by. I I don't know his or her uh, sex because the last time when when he molted the. Uh, the moat was just completely, completely destroyed and I just couldn't get out of it if it's a female or a male. I don't know which one uh, which one would be the better if, uh, uh, to get a female or a male. I would be really happy if I get a female, uh, but I would also be happy if I get a male. He or she is the most uh, uh, skittish uh, tarantula, I hope, because every single time this... Uh, and I disturb him, or I would say disturb him, I just try to do something in the enclosure, he just flicks instantly his hairs, which uh, I mentioned, I just really, really can't handle it, I just really hate it. Alright, so the last tarantula which I'm going to show you, it's not a Terephosa, it's a Pamphobetius antinus, the big black, she is a confirmed female and I believe she is going to be adult uh, after the next molt. She is just really huge. I really love this Pomphobetes species because the body size, the shape is almost identical as the Terephosa species, but uh, this colorization, I mean this color, this pitch back color with a slightly red hair at the abdomen makes this tarantula really really beautiful. That's it for today's guys, thanks for watching.